World Taekwondo Training Program. DVD number one. Project Presentation and Balance Training. Chapter 1. Basis of the World Training Program. To better understand and use the World Taekwondo Training Program, we would like to supply you with 12 basic guidelines for your methodological understanding. 1. Do not try to view the more than 2,600 exercises all at once. Instead, set up and structure workouts according to the needs of the coach and what group the training is targeted towards. 2. Each exercise has a description of two skills that are being developed. The primary skill is shown in uppercase letters and the secondary skill in lowercase. 3. Some elements do not have exercise videos in all of the categories of attributes as we only chose the ones that fit best for the specific training of each skill. 4. It is important to perform the exercises as sequences while training, balancing as much motor skill as elements, to follow a logical result within each session. 5. In order to show perfectly executed physical and technical movements, we have used high-level training athletes for each of the age groups. 6. It is important that each coach follows the training of each motor skill in an orderly form, from the beginning to the more complex exercises. 7. Almost all of the exercises are useful for all of the age groups. What the coach will have to decide is the load and volume of the training. 8. Do not expose the children from the first group to the intense training of anaerobic resistance. Simple anaerobic resistance exercises in the form of games will be more useful. 9. Do not have children from the first group do the intense training of power resistance, explosive power, or plyometric exercises. Instead, you can separate some exercises from these groups and put them in an isometric form. 10. Some exercises in the third group are labeled in the bottom portion of the video as high-performance training. This is so each coach can know to adapt the exercises in the most precise manner, as these are high-performance training exercises. 11. In some countries, it may be difficult to acquire the equipment used for some exercises. Don't be afraid to get creative and find substitutes for these elements. 12. The possibility of inventing logical and efficient exercises in these three categories, age, element, and motor skills, is infinite. For this reason, we urge coaches to continue to develop more exercises than are provided to keep improving their athletes' skills. Chapter 2 Ages and Ranges in the Project Even though the study of the physical development and motor skills in a human being is very advanced from a physiological standpoint, what we can take into account is that not all children are born with the same level of ability in each skill. Some have a harder time with some skills than others, and here is where the expertise of coaches is needed to supplement or match these differences. This can be done with a systematic and well-developed program with games and exercises within the training according to the ages and their learning sequence. Each skill that is not well-developed from the ground up will create physical technical gaps that will prevent advancement toward major sporting goals, especially in high performance. This has to be said while recalling that an exceptional development of equality by athletes in a competitive phase could somehow replace the lack of others, especially when we combine the technical and psychological components with a high degree of effectiveness in combat. In continuation, we will create a basic description for the psychomotor and psychological particularities of the athletes according to their biological age. Group 1, 4 to 7 years. 
Most children ages 4 to 7 seek contact with whoever they view as an adult, in this case the coach, and they constantly seek attention for all of their actions. They indirectly depend on him or her and claim it insistently as their egocentricity is high. They like to change partners all the time and their capability for situational analysis is non-existent. The neuromuscular development while learning Taekwondo techniques teaches to perform all the basic actions, running, jumping, climbing, catching, and throwing. Balance is gradually increased and some progress can be recorded in some coordination capabilities. However, it is necessary to achieve increased precision to improve those coordination capabilities and efficiency of movements. The types of lessons that a Taekwondo instructor for children this age should come up with have to be general. Time is limited, so if those lessons are not interesting, children will not pay attention. It is very important to take into account that children this age cannot spend too much time doing the same thing. They quickly lose focus because of their level of concentration and they require constantly changing activities. When thinking of a circuit for motor skills, the challenge of having to cross objects and go through different levels or surfaces appeals to kids. This creates more entertainment and can usually last longer. Has hecho increíble ejercicios, eh? Oh, y muy bien, felicidades, eh? Group 2, 8 to 12 years. Motor skill techniques in children of 8 to 12 years are expressed by the acute differences of the motor skills as a result of a systematic and regulated training. The formation of motor skills defined to resolve specific motor tasks continue to progress until the development of sports skills is reached. The goal of a coach is to understand the developmental characteristics of each young Taekwondo practitioner. This can be accomplished by first checking their acyclic movements. In the basic motor combinations that are simulated, you can more correctly see the mechanization in spatial and time development for those controlled movements. Another display is the perceivable increase of speed and power. This is seen in both girls and boys, but it is most evident in boys. The ability to react has been observed to not reach a high quality before the age of 10. This quality has been proven to improve through activities that require varied and quick reactions to changing situations, like those found in Taekwondo. Girls have been observed to have a lower performance and resistance than boys, and in all variants of it. At first, the differences are insignificant but constant and with a tendency to increase during growth. Aerobic resistance is more appropriate for this stage. It must be regarded as the dominant form in the tasks of perfecting this quality, but this must be done without a long duration. Children that are less stimulated coordinately have been observed to have a lack of motor learning. The ages 7 to 9 show maturity and thus a sport-like coordination technique. By stimulating the ability of coordination, there is a grand improvement in the specific elements of Taekwondo that is obtained. There is also a higher level that is reached of the same skill in comparison to those children that did not have any stimulus. A training session of three or more times per week will result in an increase in the ability of coordination. A progressive and consecutive exercise routine is required to achieve this, along with searching for more complex, motivating, and age-appropriate exercises every day. Group 3, 13 to 17 years. This biological phase of maturing is understood as the phase of structural alteration in the general characteristics of coordinative abilities of motor development. What is primarily observed in this stage of developing speed abilities are large performance gains. 
The biological causes of the accelerated development in the areas of abilities of physical condition are due to the more pronounced secretion of growth hormones and of the male hormones, particularly the ones of testosterone. These two hormones have an anabolic effect on proteins, which leads to accelerated bodily growth. Greater self-confidence and desire to excel are possibly the psychosocial factors that lead young people of this age to perform greater efforts and performance in the sports field. Regarding the coordinative capacities, the developmental stages of extremely rapid increase are found before puberty. The development of maximal strength in puberty is shown as the beginning of a sharp increase in the manifestation of this force, especially in males. For power, similar developmental characteristics are observed, increasing more noticeably during puberty than in earlier development phases. Annual increases of this ability in males are higher than those of females, so that from the age of 13 years, specific differences occur, each time increasing. The development of speed happens different from the development of strength. The speed skills belong to those motor skills that occur very early in human development. Regarding the development of resistance during puberty, it is shown in males as a phase of almost constant increase of this skill. The development of such a curve for females is generally similar, but their resistance capacity is lower than that of males of the same age. In the development of strength during adolescence, developmental trends are clear and evident especially for maximum strength. Explosive power also clearly improves in males, as expressed in sprints, jumps, or in the speed of technical coordination in taekwondo techniques. Group 4. Adults It is practically impossible to be able to cover all of the physical, technical needs of an adult in taekwondo training within any program as there may be thousands of variants of adults that practice this sport, from beginners who have never developed any sport to black belts who for their age range have certain physical limitations. Of the more than 2,600 exercises contained in this world training program, exercises can be selected and adapted to the physical and technical needs and enjoyment of each athlete. Group 5. High Performance When we hear of high performance, we always think of the quantities or aspects that are outside of the normal range of a person's work. In particular, we think of an athlete with training loads and intensities beyond the limits of human beings. Within this sport, there are certain limits that mark the dynamic that drives training. These limits are defined by the efficiency of movement that characterizes each particular person, also known as performance level. In Taekwondo, we have heard many times the term high performance, as well as the places that develop this activity, named centers of high performance. The different levels of the resulting performance provide the level of requirement of each day. When an individual starts practicing a sport for the first time, the demand levels are determined by the results of many initial evaluations, which show the state of development of the human abilities, physical, technical, cognitive, and psychological. The work will focus on increasing the level of those qualities that are less developed and work beyond their limits. Recall that the performance is increased depending on the response of our body to the training, and undoubtedly depend on the goals that have risen since the start of the training program. For example, participation in national tournaments that allow going to international tournaments and rank for continental championships, world championships, and, at its best, the Olympic Games, and also to obtain medals in each. When our goals are to improve athletic performance based on our previous results, we will always have a challenge to overcome. As our daily practice will be to constantly work to improve our physical, technical, and tactical resources in pursuit of results, 
In this way, we will be competing with ourselves. High performance in Taekwondo means transcending the physical and psychological limits in a training program, with guaranteed success and complete dedication by the athlete and coach. Chapter 3 Motor Skills Applied to Taekwondo Next, we will define each motor skill from the scientific point of view. Within each DVD, there is a much more appropriate definition to the specific qualities of Taekwondo. These should be used for a better training and for a facilitated development of methodological programs. In the project, we have given a complete priority to the skills most used in Taekwondo. Balance, coordination, speed, resistance, and strength. Secondary qualities are spatial perception, corporal perception, and agility. The other qualities like flexibility have been left for future projects. Balance. Balance is defined as the correct body placement within a space or determined movement, whether it is static or dynamic. Coordination Coordination is the physical ability that allows an athlete to perform orderly movements that are aimed towards executing a specific technical action. Speed From a sporting point of view, speed is the basic physical ability to perform gestures in the shortest amount of time possible. Strength Strength in sports is defined as a subject's physical ability to lift, support, or defeat a weight or mass by muscle action. Resistance Resistance is the basic physical ability that allows an athlete to withstand physical load for as long as possible by delaying the onset of fatigue. Agility Athletic agility is the ability to learn movements that require difficult execution. It is to react rapidly with adequate movements to changing situations. Spatial perception We could define spatial perception as the knowledge of the environment and its surroundings. It involves the subject's awareness of their situation and possible situations in the surrounding space, the space with their body, the environment, and objects it contains. Body Perception Body perception is a cognitive structure that provides the human body recognition in any situation and the information needed to establish relations with the environment including self-awareness and its position in space. Chapter 4, Types of Motor Skills Applied to Taekwondo Divisions within each quality have been adjusted to the physical technical parameters of Taekwondo, since in some cases they do not match the divisions made by scientific studies of these skills in sports in general. In a concurring opinion of all coaches, trainers, and scientists that have collaborated on this project, we have grouped the different physical possibilities within each quality. They are stated in the next section, which cover all of the possibilities within Taekwondo and further conform to the parameters of combinations of physical exercises that are unique to Taekwondo techniques. Balance section Static balance Dynamic balance Coordination section Segmented coordination General dynamic coordination Speed section, movement speed, displacement speed, reaction speed, mixed speed, power section, power resistance, explosive power, plyometrics, combined power, resistance section, uniform aerobic, variable aerobic, uniform anaerobic, variable anaerobic. Chapter 5 Elements of the Training Program Many of the training elements are not specific to Taekwondo. Each sport has their own and each recreational activity brings a wealth of ideas in this concept. 
We have selected the ones that best suit the needs of our training from the Taekwondo point of view. These are the ones that have a logical end in search of the development of a motor skill, whether it is physical or technically applied to our sport. All of the elements described below are perfectly usable for the age groups described in the project. From children starting at four years to athletes that are constantly subjected to high performance training at the highest level. The difference is in the training loads and intensities and the planning of the different stages of formation of an athlete where the qualities that have been developed in a specific manner in earlier ages. After a profound study of the skills in Taekwondo, we have selected the following. Individual. We will define individual as when an athlete performs exercises alone, without the assistance of any partners or elements. In some exercises labeled individual, we can see how an element could be involved in the training. Thus, the two options could be combined. We can assume that a coach from the outside directs the individual though many times it will be the athlete who self-directs and also trains simultaneously. Group In this project, we have defined the element labeled group as when the activity requires that two or more athletes work independently or many at the same time. Ladder. The agility or coordination ladder provides a wide range of movement patterns. It is a simple and multi-purpose element. It allows beginners to work the basic motor skills and advanced athletes to work intensely on different abilities. Through repetition, these movements will become automatic so that the body will respond to stimuli before being applied. The latter can be used as specific coordination work or it can be combined with conditioning, either in the early warm-up for a class or in any dynamic technique. It is appropriate to tell a beginner that first you can go through the motion slowly and then continue to increase speed. This can be implemented since the ages of 4 or 5. The variety of movements in each class will make each session a challenge for students and athletes. Rings. These are circular in shape and come in different sizes according to the age and goal of the training. They can work in different ways. One single ring, two rings together or separately at different distances, third arranged in a single line, or fourth in formations chosen by the coach for different dynamics. Rings allow us to come up with exercises where objectives are quite varied. They are widely used for training coordination and speed, but can be used to develop most major motor skills. Rings can also be used for very young children. They can be placed in a game to teach notions about positions and directions of the body in space. On the other end is high performance, which rings can be used for speed coordination development. Dots and lines. This innovative training system is based on lines or circular dots taped or placed on the ground, spread in a uniform manner in the training area. Each coach can manually draw out the shapes needed based on educational needs. These can be from simple line drawings to crosses or any of the infinite variations. These elements allow for training in speed and coordination, and even speed resistance. In the technical aspect, it is excellent for combining speed dynamics with Taekwondo attacking combinations. They are very useful in the early ages to work on coordination and spatial perception. As for high performance, they help to transfer physical speed to technical speed. Cones. 
This element is widely used for speed. They clearly mark training distances, whether physical or technical. When we add the time factor to these speed exercises in an aerobic or anaerobic form, we can also develop resistance. When we incorporate isometric exercises with movement or displacement speed, we can also include power training. Cones have a great educational value in early ages for spatial perception training and developing awareness of different directions, left, right, forward, and backward. In high performance, these are ideal for displacement speed training. Hurdles. Hurdles have been used in specific strength training and have varied heights depending on the age and type of power we want to develop. The purpose are to provide exercises that involve working the lower body muscle strength due to the necessary lifting movements required to hop over these elements. Exercises can be performed in a simple manner or combined with physical actions such as races, displacement, or for technical training which requires a taekwondo technical action after a jump, whether single, double, or multiple. Steps Steps are currently the most used element in plyometric training due to the simplicity and ease of use. The plyometric training section contains categories that have different methods of use according to the initial dynamic of movement, first starting from the ground and second starting from the steps. We have also varied the height depending on the age group, leaving many of the exercises to the 13 to 17 age group and high performance. Medicine Ball in this Taekwondo training program, we have used exercises with the medicine ball to build strength and resistance in a general form and also in a specific form with the technical elements of Taekwondo. We perform exercises for all types of movements, throws, lifts, increasing the degree of strength in isometric training, raising the difficulty in plyometric training, or improving the development of balance. Medicine ball exercises can involve all parts of the body, so routines can be created to best fit Taekwondo training or improving general and specific motor skills. We start training with medicine balls of 1 kg up to 10 kg, depending on the age and body weight of each athlete. For children, we used air balloons in some exercises to show physical, technical exercises better for their age group. 6 to 25 repetitions are performed in sets of 8 to 10. To improve strength, perform few repetitions. To improve resistance, perform many repetitions. The possibilities of training with a medicine ball are endless due to its natural unstable handling that demands special work in the limb muscles. Furthermore, it is a tool that can be used to improve body control, thereby learning and practicing balance. Element Specific to Taekwondo In the Specific to Taekwondo training section, the most common equipment to Taekwondo has been used. For example, chest guards, targets, body shields, and kicking bags although these names depend on the technical naming of each country. The exercises with these elements have been developed in a simple manner, and in most cases combined with other training elements, such as ladders, rings, cones, and hurdles. In the dynamics of speed, balance, and coordination, targets are most often used due to the ability to combine movements of medium or higher heights. In the strength and resistance exercises, body shields and kicking bags are mostly used, leaving sparring gear to the technical aspects of the project.
Mixed elements. When an exercise involves the use of two or more elements, it belongs to the mixed elements section. This is due to the variety of physical technical dynamics that involves many elements being used in a simultaneous manner, providing a multitude of possibilities when searching for new and more efficient systems to motivate athletes. In some cases, there are exercises that involve two or three elements that are organized in a group setting. Chapter 6 Types of Dynamic Training Exercises are divided into single, double, and multiple, depending on the number of varying movements that exist in each exercise. Although in some cases it is almost impossible to determine which of the three dynamics an exercise belongs to, we have found a logical way to group together exercises and make it easier to outline the training program. Simple. Exercises whose dynamics consist of the same movement regardless of the duration or number of repetitions. Double. Exercises whose dynamics include two or three movements, regardless of duration or number of repetitions. Multiple. Exercises whose dynamics include four or more different movements regardless of duration or number of repetitions. Chapter 7. Personalized Training Plans On the website, there is a place to obtain custom training plans for athletes. High-level expert specialists have developed these programs in each specialty. All exercises are labeled with a number inside a star, for easy identification when searching in each training program. The ranges the programs are based on are requested according to three parameters. First parameter, time, one month, three months, six months, 12 months. Second parameter, group type, individual, group, school, high performance team. Third parameter, Age group, 4 to 7 years, 8 to 12 years, 13 to 17 years, adult, high performance. Chapter 8, Athletes who participated in the project. We would like to thank in a very special way all of the team, coaches, and athletes who helped create the World Taekwondo Training Program. The whole project was filmed on site at the High Performance Center, La Loma, in the city of San Luis Potosi, Mexico.